Hello. Hello. This is the this is the podcast you've all uh, been waiting for. The fifth fifth installment of a uh, hundred and ninety six. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Isn't that what that nineteen has that podcast for? Like, this is the ninth installment of six hundred, and they pick like a new number every time. I don't know. I mean, that's their joke. I guess I won't steal it. It's not even a good joke. Yeah, you're right. So, how was your week? My week? Yeah. Pretty eventful week. Even though nothing happened, it just kind of like... I think you say that every week. Yeah. (laughs) Well, this is different though. Because there was no event. Yeah. It was just kind of a huge thing happened, but it wasn't an event. Basically, last day of high school happened this week. Thursday was my last day, or Dylan's, Dylan and I's last day of classes. Well, I guess not. I'm sorry. My last day of classes ever in the rest of my life. I'll never go back to a grade school. And that's kind of intense to think about. It hasn't really sunk in yet. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, I I was thinking about that too. I'm like, yo, if I didn't fuck up in my schoolwork, this this would this would have been it, and I would have been scot free. Do you only have one semester left? Yeah, only one. That's pretty good, still. Yeah, unless I like fail one of those classes, but I mean, I feel like you won't though. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah, but like. I don't know. That's kind of intense to think about. And it hasn't really, like, like I said before, hasn't really, really sunk in yet. It just kind of... The more I think about it, I'm like, nah, that's not true. But it actually, it's fucking true, dude. I don't know. But then, Friday night, went to a party. Um, when I got ice cream with someone at that party, we left, like, at, like, 12.30. And I'm like, we went to, got, went to get milkshakes. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. And we came back, and fucking the girl I was with that was staying at this other girl I was with, I was staying at her house for the night, and uh, a girl sh- that she was with was like, I want to go home. So we had to fucking leave. And it was up to me. I would have stayed there till like, 4 in the morning. But we left at, like, 1. I was so upset. I'm really but- confused. So you just stayed at some person's house? No, I stayed at... I was with Olivia. A friend of a friend's? Yeah, okay. Anyway, this girl who's just my friend... Uh-huh. I was staying at her house for the night, and so was this other girl, and two other guys. We're all going back to her place, and the girl that we were with wanted to leave early. I was super upset. I don't know. I was just super bummed. I wanted to stay there, cause like. And then here's a great here's a great story. I was lying, so they both have boyfriends, and both their boyfriends are there. So I was like fifth wheeling. Oh yeah. I'm okay with that sometimes. Fifth wheeling. Hell yeah. Fifth, fifth wheeling. And, um, yeah, so I'm lying on the pull-out couch, and they're both sleeping together in, like, rooms down the hall. I'm on the pull-out couch, and they're both fucking. And I'm watching Fallout, like, a Fallout 4, like, podcast thing about, like, the new DLC that was announced. <laughs> and yeah. just, like, turning the volume up slowly, because it was really loud, and I'm just like... Fuck, I don't know, it's just really funny to think, like, me, fifth wheeling at a party, watching, like, Fallout 4 fucking videos while all my other friends, like, have sex and have fun. And I'm just, like, turning up the volume to drown it out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. So that happened. I'd probably do the same thing. Yeah. It's kind of intense. And then, that happened. And Monday morning, well, later that night, I was, like... I drank that night. I couldn't really sleep. So I was going to go for a walk. I know my friend had menthol cigarettes. And I was going to go up and take one and leave her like three bucks. And then I didn't have three bucks. But then I got this whole scheme where I was going to leave a note anyway. That just Because I had 80 cents and I was like, sorry, I, didn't, I, w- I was going to take one. But then I decided not to. But have this 80 cents anyway just because I like had the thought of taking one. I don't know why. I thought that would have been really funny just for her to wake up and find that note. Just with 80 cents taped to it. That's not bad. Yeah. But I don't know. Wrote an exam today. Went to the beach. Did some swimming. 
Oh yeah, how was the beach? I wasn't there. It's good stuff. Oh, it was really boring. You didn't miss out. Basically, today we were gonna we went to the beach, and Dylan was gonna come, but then we thought these two other people we invited before Dylan weren't coming, but they ended up coming out. So then Dylan got kind of like pushed out of the plan because they had seniority since they got invited first. Shit. But then Dylan came with us later on that night, and we went to a waterfall together and did some swimming there. So, at the beach, yeah, you didn't miss out. Like, we got there, the water was cold, no one did anything, everyone just sat in the sand and talked. I went swimming and, like, caught some crabs. I went off on my own for, like... Yo! A... Yeah, like, I just... They were being boring. I hate going to the beaches with people, because they just, like, sit Crab in the sand catching, dude. and don't talk. And I'm like, I'm gonna go actually do some fun shit. So I've walked, like, a kilometer down the beach to a tidal pool that I found and just caught crabs by myself for, like, an hour. I was having a fucking blast. I would have done that with you, dude. Yeah. I would have came, dude. And then, then I came back, and I'm like, we should go to the other place, because there's people meeting us there. And they're like, okay. And we left. Wow. Hmm. That was my, um, that was my week. Probably the most eventful week I've talked about yet. Hmm. What, what, what about you? What about you? Whoa. I had a week. Well, we didn't really talk about this last week, but just after the podcast last week, the day after that, uh, Nintendo streamed some Zelda stuff, and I, I watched the Zelda stuff. And Zelda stuff. Looked, oh yeah, looked really good, and I'm really excited for that. I'm definitely gonna get that as soon as possible. Yeah, that looked really. That looked really good, actually. Yeah. Because it was like really, really refresh like. New, like the ideas are very new, but at the same time, it had that fucking Ze that Zelda charm. Like it still looked like a Zelda game. It still felt like what I was watching was a Zelda game. At the same time, it was very like fashion forward. Definitely did. I'm a fan. Hmm. And then, uh, fast forward, boom, Thursday, last day of classes. I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, can't wait to come back here. It's gonna be sick. Sarcasm. And then... What'd, uh, you do, what'd you do Thursday night? Uh, actually, Thursday evening, I got picked up from school by Ryan. And I, and I went with Ethan and Ryan to down to Dartmouth. And I stayed at Ryan's house. He didn't really live in Dartmouth, though. He lives some like, some back-ass place. I went to... <laughs> like, we... Drop by his dad's house real quick. We were going to a Smash tournament. I don't know if I mentioned that, but... We dropped by his dad's house. And his dad's, like, rich as hell. And his dad was, like... Or his dad's house was, like, super nice. <laughs> like, it was massive. And, like, everything inside was, like, modern as hell. <clears throat> I'm like... Holy smokes. <laughs> Where was his house, like... Do you know... No, I have like no location. idea. That's no really idea. funny. Who's, do I know Ryan? No. Okay. Um, after that, we went to his mom's house, slept there, did some smash practice. Then the tournament came up. We went to the tournament. Um, I only did smash four singles, and I lost every game that I played. <laughs> But it was fun, because I actually got to fight the best player in Nova Scotia. Did he, like, destroy you, or did you get some... No, actually, some... Uh, I, had a, I had a better time with him than I did with some of the other players that I played against, so... It was closer? Yeah, it was a lot closer. Like, I took, a, like, a few socks off him, but he still 2-0'd he still me. But it was actually a lot of fun. How many stocks do you play with? In uh, two. Okay. Two stocks. Okay. okay. So what was it like? Was it just for fun, or was it like? Was there prizes? Like, was it a pretty organized event? Yeah, it was an organized Smash tournament. Um, okay. There, there's pools. There's like, I don't know, pools, <laughs> where like you fight everybody in your pool, and then like the top whatever go on to the bracket and it's just like a bracket tournament from there and uh of course i lost against everybody in my pool so i didn't get to advance 
But uh, yeah. Anyway, it was fun. Did, did um, anyone advance? I think Jack advanced. Oh. But cool. what was I, like the top? What was the top prize? I don't know. Money. I'm pretty sure it was money. Wasn't like a cool, the cool DS. No. Seattle, Seattle Mariners. No. Nope. DS Lite. No. Nope. Um, I had to stay with Jack and Jello, and um, they're both assholes. <laughs> Are they actually? Yeah, like <laughs> you have no idea. Like constant bullying towards me. Like, like whenever I would, <laughs> like constant comments about my hair. Like Jack would be like, "Hey, I'll money match you," or, or what? Like, that. He'd be like. Yo, if I beat you in this game, you have to cut all your hair. <laughs> and then I'm like, no. <laughs> and then we played the match anyway, and I won. And I'm like, now you gotta, <laughs> now you gotta shave your hair. <laughs> and he doesn't have very long hair, so it's funny. But he said no. What's um, What's Jelly like? He's just, just like Jack, but an asshole. Like he's fatter, and he plays melee. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And they're both just like totally ripping on me, and I'm just like crying myself to sleep. <laughs> um, and then I had exams, or before that, in the car with Ryan, we were listening to some music, and it was Mac DeMarco. I'm like, hey, this is not bad. Really? Yeah. And then exams were today, and I did okay in exams. That was pretty much my week. I talked for quite a bit that time. So yeah. did you. Everyone had a good week. First, summer starts and the fucking tops go up, dude. Summertime's party time. Sure thing, dude. Now. Wow. Wow? Wow. Hey, let me ask you something. All right, go for it. Shoot me. I'll hit you in the chin with it. If you get any superpower, what would it be? Ah, uh, fuck. I didn't even think about what superpower I wanted before I started this dang old friggin' thing. <clears throat> I don't know, probably, probably something simple like, um, jeez, I don't know. Honestly, invisibility. Just because you could fucking go in the girls' locker room. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, just like <laughs> run around town naked <laughs> or steal stuff or a bunch of stuff you could do with in invisibility. Invisibility is like a mischief only superpower. Yeah. They can't really be, be, be put to like good use. It's always just like fucking with people. Yeah. Act, pretend you're, like you're a ghost. <laughs> <coughs> uh. So yeah, that's my answer. What about you, huh? Me? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I think I would it sometimes. As a kid, I like extensively thought about it all the time. And I think like it's kind of two, I guess. One of them doesn't really matter a whole lot because it has, doesn't have like implications. The other one does. First one, breathing underwater just because, and like seeing underwater, I guess, like seeing clearly. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really like water and think things that dwell in it. And it's like a whole new world. It's like seeing like things you've never seen before when you look at like stuff underwater. So like gravity's different, everything looks different, and like the things in it you can only find underwater. And it's a rare glimpse into something you don't often get to see because it's like not your reality all the time. So like, fuck, if I could just swim down like 50 feet and look at like coral and rocks and like lift up rocks and look at fucking like crap and shit, I'd be really happy. That's a much and, uh, better answer than mine. You think so? Oh yeah. I don't know, yours is pretty funny. My second one would be like some sort of telekinesis, like some way to manipulate like gravity. Oh. Because not just telekinesis, because like grabbing shit from across the room would be cool. But if you also think about it, you could make yourself weightless. Like you could grab yourself through like a gravitational force and like pull yourself into the air. And fly that way. <laughs> so it's like flying goes along with it, but there's like a way to implement it within telekinesis. So you can just like pull shit from across the room, like 
grab stuff everywhere, and then just pick yourself up and like push yourself through the sky. Yeah. I think those are my two. Those would be re really, really cool to have. I just like, fuck dude, I could just wake up in the morning and be like, dang, free all day, fly to fucking California, and do some underwater exploring, come back for supper. That's, that's the dream. And then you're just floating through the air as fast as you can go. And you know you're not going to fall. Like, there's no reason to be scared. You could literally in complete control of whether you fall or not. So you're never going to hurt yourself. <laughs> well, you'd you probably be scared. Cruise through the clouds. Scaredy cat. Scaredy cat. Just cruise through the clouds. You get, like, a blanket. You can get, like, a watch, like, a YouTube video in the sky with, like, headphones on and just going through the air. What's the point of going through the air if you're paying attention to a YouTube video, though? Well, the, I don't know. The first time would be really cool. <laughs> but after that, if you're doing like a hundred times, by the hundredth time, you'd want to you'd fucking throw, some pod, throw a podcast on. Yeah, maybe uh, try, try at the Fish and Friend podcast. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check perfect. Me. Perfect for uh, flying. Perfect for solo flights. Perfect for flying. I also thought of something uh, like when I was a kid, there'd be bullies and they'd bully me. And I go home and think, man, if I was like Spider Man, I could just beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if I, I was a kid again, I would ask for like Spider Man powers or like super strength or like Goku powers. Just, just beat them up? Yeah. Just fucking rip them apart? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always thought of like throwing people because I think I don't know. I never really got. I guess I kind of got bullied. I don't know. Just a lot of people pissed me off, and I was a pretty angsty like thirteen year old. I always pictured myself like. Did, did you ever like fantasize about fighting people? Like obviously, right? Yeah. I'd fantasize about like having the strength to like pick them up and fucking throw them like a hundred feet. Yeah. <laughs> like just throw them through the air as hard as I could and they'd land like on the highway and like die and I'd be like yeah dude that was me fucker I never had anything like that I just like imagine myself like with like super strength and like just like really beating them up bad like p pantsing them making them wet themselves and like taking nah, a, taking just a like, picture and just all the like girls. punching them super hard <laughs> that's what I thought about you know that scene in Rick and Morty where um, all the aliens like come and like manifest themselves in their memories? Yeah. And Rick's there and he's like, Rick, I don't know if you're an alien or not. And he's like, Morty, think about it. All the bad shit you've done, or all the bad shit I've done to you. And in his memories, it's like Rick goes to school and fucking pants his Morty and pushes him down the stairs. Then he pisses himself. Hmm. And like he like takes a picture and like points to all the girls that Morty's like, on the ground, naked, like with pee on them. <laughs> wow, great! I don't know, kind of, kind of off topic, but I think that's a that's what that reminded me of. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey, are you vaping right now, dude? Uh. One sec. There it is. That sounds awful. <laughs> I'm vaping, and let me tell you. I've got a few things to say about this. Vaping. Look, I'm not a fucking pro. I'm not a guy who's gonna be like, vape for life, dude. I'm not a cringe master. But I don't know. It's just really satisfying to do. Like, if you're not a douche about it, because you can be a douche with anything. Like, you can be a fucking douche with the way you dress. Like, you could carry your 3DS around and be like, oh, look, I'm playing my 3DS, and, like, announce it. It's the same thing as people who, like, vape and blow huge clouds and, like, show off. Because you can show off with anything. Yeah. And you're always going to be a dick. But just because it's vaping. You know, if you just inconspicuously, like, take a little drag off of it, blow it away, kind of low-key, it's just super satisfying to do. It tastes good. And, like... Not all the time. Not all the time. When you buy shitty... Juice, it's pretty garbage. Which is what you have right now. Shitty menthol nonsense. But like, people make fun of vaping from the outside looking in. 
But then when anyone's around and I have it out, I'm using it. They're like, hey, can I try that? And they're like, oh, that's pretty funny, like pretty cool, pretty fun to use. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like once you use it, it's like, okay. And then I remember you- when, um, like I used to like, like vaping, like that's so stupid, dude. Like mm. you got to be mindless to, if, you, if you vape. And, and then Jake started vaping, and I'm like, Jake, are you crazy? <laughs> and then Jake's like, no, it's better than smoking. And I'm like, well, I don't have any facts to back that up, but you do you, okay? And then you started vaping. Then I'm like, all right, something's up here. Is this really what I think it is? <laughs> so, vaping's okay. Yeah. And also, I know there's like a subculture around it, but I think it's because it's so customizable. Like, you you don't just buy a vape and that's it. Like, different, some of them go like higher wattages and different tanks do different things. And there's like all this technical shit into it, which I think is why there's a subculture. Because if like, if no one modified cars, if you just bought a car and that was it, like, there would be no car guys or no like mechanic subculture but it's because it's customizable and you can personalize it yeah so like vaping is the exact same way it's just like you can make it your own and that's why there's like a culture because like everyone has a different one you'd be like oh here's what i'm fucking sucking back on dude and you're like oh shit that's pretty cool pretty tight hell yeah dude yeah i don't know it's just like whatever who cares huh hell yeah wow great I, i think it's less one final point uh, totally, brah. I think it was a pretty big meme. Pretty big meme to make fun of vaping like a year ago. But I feel like that's kind of died out. And now people just do it. And not a lot of people care. Yep, definitely. Mm. Wow. Wow. Hey, wow. Have, hey. have, have, have a... Ha, <coughs> 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 hey, how about that uh, Brooklyn Connolly, huh? Brooklyn Connolly? Yeah, you think she's a cannibal or what? Should I give some context first? No. Brooklyn cannibal? Yes or no? All right. You know Brooklyn better than I do. Should I just give a backstory? <laughs> Listen. What? Have you ever seen Brooklyn refuse human meat? No, but have you ever seen Brooklyn accept human meat? Now, see, the point... Have you, no, but you haven't seen her refuse it. Yeah. How often do you see human meat, dude? There's Never. not there's not many chances for you to accept it. So yeah. How how can you make that an argument, dude? That's true. But using <laughs> that using that logic, your argument also falls apart. I don't know if it does, dude. Because if you want, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. I think I think she is. Just well, look, look at, at her. The, look at the facts. She's extremely cheery, easy to be around, charismatic. It's just a cover up. Yeah. Look at Dexter. Everyone fucking loves Dexter. Who? From the the show Dexter. I never watched that show. Oh. He's a serial killer, but he's part of the police force and he like s- kills Serial killers. Like, that's how he gets his, like, bloodlust is he kills other serial killers. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but he, like, he's, like, a serial killer, so he fucking, like, brutally murders them and, like, rips them apart and shit and, like, tortures them. Yo, dude, that that must be confusing because it's, like, it's, like, imagine you're a serial killer and a serial killer kills you. That would be weird. You wouldn't expect it. Off topic, dude. Brooklyn, oh. Brooklyn is a cannibal. You know what? Well, we'll wait to see on that. We'll yo, just... yo, dude, you know what we should do? We should order some, like, human meat online and, like, offer it to her. And, like, don't tell her it's human, but if she says she likes it, then, like, eat, we know. Just watch her, her face light up. Like, she'll get that, <laughs> she'll get that she... sense. Like, just, like, ugh. Finally. She'll be like, this is delicious. And it's like, Brooklyn, do you know what that is? She's like, no. And it's like, 
You oh, mean... yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't. What is it? Please. Ah! <laughs> and then we handcuff her. Throw her in a cell. <laughs> Imagine, like, like, she just turns around after she takes a bite and there's like, a cough. And, like, the cop, like, comedically slaps the handcuffs on her. Yeah. And she's like, oh, boo-hoo. How'd you, how'd, you, how'd you think to catch me? We're like, uh, yeah. well, it was simple, really. And we lay out the facts, and she's like, uh. Yo. What? Um, Brook- Brooklyn's also a bit of an asshole. Is she? I don't think so at all. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I've got facts to back it up this time. Actual proof facts. <laughs> okay. Right? So we were, we were pissing about the falls mm-hmm. today, and uh, she was there. And I had a bunch of Dairy Queen receipts because we went to Dairy Queen and then just left all the receipts just pile up on the counter. So I took them all. Yeah. Bill, Bill thought it was hilarious. I don't know why. <laughs> so I took them. Um, so we get to the falls. I'm like, hey, hey Brooklyn, do you want these re- uh, Dairy Queen receipts? She's like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll keep these to remember you by. And you keep that one to remember me by. I'm like, okay, that's a good plan. And then we're walking back to the car, and I'm looking on the floor, or the floors, fourth floor, Yeah. and I'm seeing all these receipts. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it wouldn't bother me if she hadn't said, like, I'm going to keep these to remember you by, because, you know, the receipts. But once you put a meaning to it, it's, <laughs> and then you throw it out, it's like, wow, <laughs> asshole. Did you throw yours out? No, I have them all right now on my desk. Oh, you, you took them all back? Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why she put it down. Oh, I know why she put it down. Why? Because um, Nathan walked up before her, and she was just wearing her swimsuit. So she like gave Nathan all of her stuff, and she was like grabbing branches when she crawled all the way to the part of the end, and she's like, I can't hold on to these branches with all these receipts in my hands, and like put them down. And then she like audibly to herself said, sorry, Dylan, and put them beside the tree where you found them. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> that's anime as hell yeah <laughs> Fuck. well should we give some context on who Brooklyn is or is it too late for that now I feel like they know enough they know enough yeah does it matter how she came into our lives I don't even know how she came into our lives do you want to know no you sure yeah okay well Heads up, heads up, sneak preview. She's going to be on the podcast next week. Or no, two weeks Two weeks from now, set podcast number seven, she's going to be the guest. So yep. we'll let her tell her story on how yep. she came to be. Uh, next week is Jake. Next week is Jake Rand, the motorcycle man. Yeah. And he'll tell you all about his uh, his hobbies and why he's the way he is. Because he's very interesting. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Holy smokes. Hey, you ever listen to a song and you listen to the lyrics and you think, wow, what a, what a great uh, message. Or what what a clever rhyme or something like that. You ever think that, Brogan? Oh, yeah. Hey, me too. You too? Yeah, I've done that before. Hey, how about we, let's try to talk about it. Yeah, why don't you why don't you toss some of them out there? Uh, all right. Well, this there's, there's a song by Egyptian hip hop. It's called Rad Pit, and um, there's a lyric in it. It says, "I have only one regret, that I never lived my life at its best." And I think that's very important, because you know you're living your life every day, and maybe you're not making the right decisions, or you think you're not making the right decisions. I'm thinking, hey, just do your best. Have no regrets. Am I right? You're 100% right. That's just my little thing, you know? You're a, you're a humble onion? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, you could say I have some song lyrics um, tattooed on my body. You could say <laughs> that. I've talked about this before. I believe in the very first podcast. Was it the pilot, even? I got no clue. 
Was it the pilot we talked about music, or was it the first one? I got no clue, dude. My main uh, dude. At some point, we talked about a band called uh, New, uh, Neutral Milk Hotel, and how I have a tattoo. And um, the lyrics say, Can't believe how strange it is to be anything at all. And that's... Uh. That, that's pretty true. It's pretty, uh, pretty accurate. Sometimes it's just fucking weird to just even exist. Yeah, I've just thought about that before. When I was a little kid, I'm like, what's going on? Why am I here? Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a literal sense and then that sense. So, like, on that sense, it's just, why, do we, why are we here? Like, it's deep. And then, like, the literal sense, it's like, it's just strange shit happens all the time. And it's like, I can't believe, you know, it's just strange to, like, it's like, okay, fuck, your, your friend dies and you feel sad about it. And you're like, that's just weird. Why do I feel sad about it? Like, why does that matter? Because it shouldn't. Because the more you think of it, I don't know. Because it's strange, dude. Why do they get those lyrics tattooed in my body? It's just strange to exist. Just weird shit happens sometimes. I got, I got, more, I got more lyrics. Ugh. Really? You want me to lay it, lay it on out, or do you want well, to take? Do you want to take another turn? I guess you can go. I don't have any more lyrics. I thought you had one more. I I said if if I thought of one. Oh, I thought you had two, and if you thought of one, you'd have three. Nope. Oh, well. One I'll talk about in like detail, and then I got four more that I'll just talk about in passing. So there's another. It's not really a lyric, because it's not sung in a song, but at the end of the song, he says it. And there's just some story behind it. So basically, if you've seen the documentary, I think you have, Searching for Sugar Man. Nope. You haven't seen that? You didn't watch that in, like, multimedia or film nope. or something? I haven't. Okay. Basically, it's, if you've seen it, it's this dude who made, like, amazing music, and he never got popular. In the States, he had, like, 4,000 record sales, but his music was, like, phenomenal. Like, some of, like... Oh, yeah, I heard that, actually. (laughs) Yeah, like, if he was around... If he got big, he would have been, like, one of the biggest musicians of the time. He never got big, but he got huge in South Africa for some reason. Only in South Africa, he got massive. And he just disappeared because he was an American musician that no one talked about. So these guys went went to go find him to see, like, where he went. And they found him. And everything. And now he's really popular. But he was like 70s. He's like an old guy now. But now his music's really popular. And like all of his records got repressed and everything. So it's really interesting. Hmm. But there's this story. On his second album, he says, at the end of the song, he says, I'll thank you for your time and you can thank me for mine. But after that's said, forget it. And there was this story because everyone started rumors that he like killed himself or died. Because no one knew where he went, right? And he was huge in South Africa. Yeah. So the rumor was that on his last show, he stood on stage and he said to the audience, I'll thank, I'll thank you for your time and you can thank me for mine, but after that said, forget it. And then he lit himself on fire. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and that was the story. But I just, I don't know, I really like that line because it's like, you know what? Like, appreciate what happened, but don't dwell on it. Like... I don't know. It's just an interesting way to think about things. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And I got four more. I'm going to run through them real quick. Hey, listen. What? I, I got one. Okay. There's this song called Uptight Downtown by LaRue. And it's about, it's about riots. You know? Yeah. And um, I don't know. Just uh, one one small line, it's like, why are we fighting? I don't understand. And another part of the song, it's like, um, where are you all going and won't you take me with you too? So it's kind of like some somebody just like joined the crowd of riders that doesn't really know why they're fighting. <laughs> I just, I don't know. That's That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty interesting. It's like a, I don't know. I don't know, dude. 
Um, I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop saying I don't know. I don't know if you should stop. Actually, I do know, and I think you should. I meant to write that on my hand before we started the podcast. Hey, stop saying I don't know, but then I didn't write it, so doesn't. Uh, nobody's perfect, so doesn't matter now, I guess. Anyway, some other quick lyrics to just toss out there. Got two sublime lyrics for you. Two sublime y- lyrics. One of them is. If rhymes were Valium, I'd be comfortably numb. And that's a fresh fucking lyric. Because he's rapping it as he says it. He just tosses it out there and he's like, If rhymes were Valium, I'd be comfortably numb. So it's like referencing a Pink Floyd song. And talking about that he's so fucking good at rhyming. Has so many rhymes going on. That if they were a drug, he'd be fucking dumb, dude. Because he has so many rhymes. Okay, Another one is, Gotta be strapped with a gat if you want to walk with me. Just, just another fresh... Hot. Another fresh lyric, dude. Another fresh lyric from Sublime. Hot. What? Hot. It's a hot lyric. Hot. Third lyric from Sublime. Because they're a great fucking band. Some great lyrics. And just a really fresh band. And he says, I'm high on a drug known as reggae music. And he's like, just toss... Like, he says it real quick. And it's like an upbeat. And he's like, just says it real quick. It's not like, supposed to be like, dwell oh. on. Because he's just... Oh. He's just do, do, doing reggae, just playing reggae, and he's like, fuck, I'm doing so much reggae, I'm high on this drug known as reggae music. He's just doing so much. Yeah, man. That's great. And then my last lyric. I wish I could do reggae music. I wish I could, too. It seems, like, really fun to play. Yep. The Dead Kennedy song, California Borales. It says... I'm Governor Jerry Brown, who was the governor of California at the time. And my Instagram account is named Governor Jerry Brown. So, he doesn't have an Instagram. Uh. I'm basically the the official Governor Jerry Brown Instagram account. And I get tagged in random shit all the time from California. It has like thousands of likes. It's like, pass Bill 72 to like stop people from watering their lawns. (laughs) <laughs> and I'll, they'll, cool. they'll tag me in it and I'll just be like oh this is kind of funny so I'll be like I su- I'm Governor Jerry Brown and I support this message <laughs> comment on it because it's like if someone sees that they're going to be like I didn't fucking say that <laughs> I want to see if I can get like verified or something before they realize it's not actually Governor Jerry Brown I mean the profile picture is like a, a heavily filtered picture of me with like hair in my eyes so I mean anyone can look at that and be like that's not an old man. That's a fucking young emo teenager. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Hey. So, I don't know. There's a couple of song lyrics for you. That's good. Yeah. Um, before, before we go, I just wanted to br- bring up a little story. Okay. After my first exam, I went to Rick's. I'm like, what's up, dude? <laughs> then I had to go back to school. Then I wrote another exam, and then I went back to Rick's. Yeah. And the first time around, he had a lady friend over. Second time around, I go inside and it's completely silent. And there's your first warning sign. And then Rick Rick comes out of his bedroom (laughs) without a shirt on. And and at this point, I'm getting a drink from the fridge. And he's like, did you just come over to get a drink? And I'm like, "Uh, should I leave? And he's like, yeah. (laughs) And then he left. (laughs) <laughs> so uh, take what uh, from that what you will, you know. Fuck, that's funny. Um, does Rick hate me? No. He's never talked about me before. He he has a little bit. He, um, I don't I don't think he hates you. Okay. I think at some point he said that you were his favorite. Okay. Because I saw him at on English Street, just at the end of the street, I saw him. I was with Brooklyn, and he didn't have headphones in. Like he was just looking at his phone. Yeah. I said, "Hey, it's um, it's a pigeon brother." I, d- I said that it's one of the brothers' pigeon. I just I said that. And he didn't look at me. I'm like Rick. He didn't look at me. I was like literally like six feet away from him. I'm like, "Hey, Rick, what's up?" He didn't look at me. It didn't even like acknowledge my existence. And I was like walking. I'm like, okay. Bye, Rick. 
and again, didn't even acknowledge I was there. Like, I was audibly, like, loud. He had no headphones in. He was, like, four feet away from me. I was, like, almost in front of him. I said, hey, Rick. He didn't look at me, so I just thought he was, like, sour over something. <laughs> sour, dude. <laughs> Unless well, he was just zoned out. I don't know. He was just looking at his phone. I don't know. I don't know what that could have been. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed listening, you can follow on SoundCloud or on YouTube to be notified when the po- next podcast is up. And Brogan, do you have any other closing thoughts? Oh, wait, um, also on to iTunes. That's what I was going to say. Cool. iTunes. Any- anything else? Uh, no, just stay. Stay good, dude. Stay, stay true. Stay golden to yourself and to those around. Be as be a golden genius child. That's that's it. That's all of it. That's all I got to say. All right. Goodbye. Good. Good. Have a good night. Have a goodbye. Goodbye.